everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we, uh, we happened to complete a fairly interesting episode called Aphobia. Should have been titled Acrophobia. Uh, no, Arachnophobia. Yeah. I don't know if, uh, Aphobia was named what it was simply to, you know, distract you or something, but still, it was interesting. I like the way it was done. Now, it's time to move on to another scenario. This time, Emerald Mountain, the most sacred thing imaginable. Let's take a look. There is a tribe in Emerald Valley that calls itself nothing more complex than the tribe of Emerald Valley. They are a simple folk, isolating themselves to life, to life within their mountain walls. The tribe of Emerald Valley is not a complicated affair, preferring huts or burrows and mountainsides to dwell in. Men lead lives as warriors or religious leaders, while the women practice farming. Both lives are simple. Warriors in the tribe are called spares. All spares serve the chief, who is currently Chief Lickgun, a recent appointment who has only spent two years in the position. You are among the spares of your tribe, and through your upbringing you have been taught the value of strength, courage, and morality. Your upbringing, like those of your comrades, has been very sheltered. Your tribe is led by Chief Lickgen, whose word is final in matters of the tribe. Wiseman Barbarus is one who advises the chief and speaks with the spirits. You have been raised on three tenets. Honor, tradition, and conviction. Your tribe believes in a network of omnipotent spirits which watch over the land. The spirits concentrate themselves in the Aquos Gem, a powerful artifact which gives, which gives life to the river which springs forth from your mountain village. Your job is to guard the Holy Gate, which is the gateway which impedes trespassers from stealing the gem. It is the holiest artifact to your tribe, and your job of guarding it is of great import. You guard it with your brother-in-arms, Wickacer. A brother-in-arms is not necessarily one with whom you are directly rated, related, but he is somebody whom you have been raised with, and with whom you have lived. To you, he is your brother. He is often stern, quiet, and finds need to discipline you, but is also wise, protective, and amply skilled. He was thought to be the next chief two years ago, but he did not want the position. People were surprised when Lickin became chief. Wickhaser is a beloved member of your family by proxy, and you know him like no other. He is special to you, and after over twenty years of living together, you are more comfortable with him than anybody else. He is trustworthy to an extreme. At any rate, today is a new day. After having slept well last evening, you wake up refreshed and ready to fulfill your duty. Just another day to guard the Holy Gate on Emerald Mountain. Alright. Haven't used this party in a bit, I think, so I'm just getting a glance through what they're carrying. Alright. Various spells and the like. Okay. We'll see the other military skills soon. Anyway. Whitcaser isn't with you today. It's strange, considering that he usually is a late riser. He's likely climbed to the Holy Gate already. You should check there for him. Climbed to the Holy Gate? That's the wrong way. The Holy Gate is at the top of the hill, not the bottom. You have no business here yet. Ah, that must be him. Okay. That is the wrong way. Okay. Fair enough. And here's the holy gate. Wickhaser is standing pa patiently at his guard post. He smiles as you approach, but something seems different. Greetings, brothers in arms. Tis a fine day. He begins fiddling with his fingers. Is something bothering him? Well, I have a wild idea. Do you want to hear it? This is strange. Wickhaser treats his duty with the utmost respect at all times, and has never been the one to suggest wild ideas. What wild idea do you have? He points to the gate with his sword and smiles uneasily. We could go inside to guard. The sun is warm, but the cave is cool. We could spare ourselves workless sweat and go inside. Something sounds fishy. Why would he even suggest such a notion? What made you think of this? Oh, nothing really. I just figured that it would be more pleasant inside. We could practice sword and spear maneuvers inside if you want. I know you enjoy doing that. Sparring is something guards aren't supposed to do, but ever since we were children, it was entertaining to practice our skills. He puts both hands on his waist and pushes his chest out. Why not? 
Or are you afraid that I'll beat you? Well, if you put it that way. Wikaser has never suggested such entertaining notions since ten years ago when he was only barely twenty years of age. What has gotten into him, you have no idea. Nevertheless, it is a good change to be certain. Wikaser opens the gate and joins the group. Come now, let's go inside! You finally pass beyond the threshold of Holy Gate. The inside is damp and cool, almost dramatically so. Wickhaser, who seemed proud and uppity by suggesting the idea, now seems nervous to an extreme. Wickhaser's fists are clenched, and despite the cool temperature of the cave, he is sweating profusely. You ask him if something is bothering him. No, nothing. I'm fine. Let's keep going. Is your brother genuinely well? How far in are we supposed to go? You stop and suggest that you not go further. Wickhaser shakes his head. We can come back soon, but I wish to see what we got. Let us go only a bit further. I, I promise you, a glance is all I need. Wickhaser is an honest person. He has entertained you many times. Entertaining his curiosity once cannot hurt. There it is. The Aquas Gem. I wish to see it. It truly is beautiful. Indeed it is. Enjoy it while it lasts. What do you mean? It's mine now. Wiki, sir, what are you thinking? This is just a joke, right? Farewell, brothers. Don't hate me when I'm gone. Wiki, sir! What just happened? Unless you're hallucinating, your brother-in-arms just stole the holiest artifact of the Emerald Tribe. Wiki, sir, is a swift runner. He has likely already left the city. Perhaps the spares at the guard post saw in which direction he ran off in. You had best check with him with them first. That's the wrong way. The guard post to the, is to the south at the bottom of the hill, not to the east. Okay, then. That's unexpected. Wrong way. This is Hapud, one of the spares who stand guard at the post on the south end of town. He's considerably lazier than his brothers in arms, which explains why he's slacking off in his room. Greetings, brave spares! How are things going? I'm just standing inside because, um, I'm guarding the house. Yeah. And you're guarding your house, why? Simple, so we don't get robbed. He's completely shameless. It's not surprising. Things aren't going well. Things aren't going so well. You tell him that Wickhazer ran off after having stolen the Aquas gym. He seems shocked. You're... You're joking, right? Oh, spirits help us all. That's terrible. I'm sincerely sorry about... Wow, you have my sympathies. Yeah, this... This is an awkward moment. The spare here is standing guard, not really paying attention to you. When on guard, spares are supposed to remain still and not address anyone unless addressed. How are things going? Oh, they're going okay. No troubles, really. At least as far as you know. No, I don't want to jump off the ledge. Magos. Okay, let's, uh... Let's try going up here. No, I don't want to jump off the ledge. You address one of the spe spares here. They smile and nod at you, but seem slightly distressed by how worried you look. You ask them if they saw Wickhazer dash by. Now that I think of it, says one of them, I did see him tear by in a bloody rage of sorts. He seemed to be running to the southeast. Do you have any idea why? You tell them you saw the him steal the Aquos gem. They gawk openly. You're kidding! You must tell the chief of this immediately. Go! Will do. I don't know where this chief is, but... The child here ignores you and continues staring into the brazier. Magos turns to you. Oh, that's my apprentice. His name is Gaelgum, and he's meditating as to speak with the spirits. Leave him alone, please. Thank you. Chief is to the northeast. Okay. Magos is the village's wise man. He is likely to replace Barbarus whenever he dies. For his age, Magos is remarkably adept with his abilities. 
Spirits be with you, spares. I have heard about your troubles from the spirits who flow throughout me. You are truly on a holy mission. I can teach you how to let the spirits flow through you to empower yourself and diminish your enemies for a modest donation, if you need my assistance. Mage spells! Well, we do have a shit ton of coins, so this would be useful. And it's very reasonable. The, uh, the cost, I mean. Fine. Oh, still not high enough for these. We can learn the magic mind. Not that I really need it, but okay. And priest spells. Definitely really cure. And I don't think it would be a bad idea to improve war blessing. Still not high enough for much of these. Radiant shield actually is a good idea. And divine fire cloud control foes cloud of blades. Gonna have to improve those. Okay. No, I don't want to jump off. No, I don't want to jump off. Smid is there. Okay. And here is just well, a room. Ah, Smid must be the one who gives us gear. Smid is the village's blacksmith. He pounds on metal day in and day out, making powerful weapons for the tribe. He nods and smiles as you approach. Good day, Spares. How are you all faring today? I heard about your situation, and while I cannot give my weapons away for free, I promise you a reasonable deal on all of my wares. By all means, let me know if you need to buy anything. Got a whole bunch of things. Axes. This axe design I've only seen in Terra's Martyrs. Um, stuff. Nothing we need. We don't need anything identified either, so we're good there. Okay. Can't go up there, so... Around this way. This is the chief's quarters. You are explicitly not allowed inside. Okay. Not going to the chief's quarters, then. Ah, that must be the chief. Let's take a look elsewhere first. This is the wrong way. The chief is in the center of town at the meeting hall. He is not in this direction. Okay, fine. <sighs> Railroading son of a... Chief Lickgen is in the meeting hall, meditating quietly. He opens his eyes and stands up as you address him. Greetings, brave spares! Why are you not guarding the Holy Gate? And why is Wickhaser... Wissaker not with you? You tell him that Wickhaser has stolen the Aquas gem and has fled the tribe. Lickgen seems shocked and also angered. Are you sure? You aren't pulling some sort of prank? You tell him that you aren't and that you have witnesses who saw him leaving town. He sits down and puts his hand to his chin in contemplation. This is horrible news. I had no idea that he had so much gall. One thing must be done. The Aquas gem must be retrieved at any cost, or else we will be forsaken by the spirits. We cannot let him leave the valley. Even though you are one man short, you are still supposed to guard the Aquas gem. Spares, you must do this mission for the good of the tribe. What must we do, sir? If Wicket Saker stole the Aquas gem, he must not be forgiven. He has threatened everyone in this valley and must not be allowed to return. If he does not give, freely give you the Aquas gem, then you must slay him. Do it with honor, and let the fact that you are defending the honor and safety of your tribe console you. Return when you have the Aquas gem and give it to Wiseman Barbarous, so that we may ritually place it back in its alcove as a repentance to the spirits. Since this is a holy mission, you must pray before the holy mound of the east, where the spirits of dead warriors grant their blessings. Also, approach Wiseman Barbarous, so that you may learn and prepare from his wisdom. He knows much. Hopefully you will learn from him. May the spirits be with you, Spares. I must go on pilgrimage to pray for your success. Return successful in your goal. Chief Lickgen gets up, unsheathes his sword, and leaves the meeting hall. Yes, sir. Your further questions will have to wait. The chief grabs his claymore and axe and rushes off to pray for the safety of your tribe. All right. He must be in here. Ah, there. Of course. You are begin to tell Wiseman Barbarous of your problems, but he raises his wrinkled hand. Enough. I know why you are here. The spirits came to me and told me of Wickhaser's wrongdoings. Regardless of the circumstances which forced Wickhaser to do what he did, Lickgar was right to banish him. I suspect that something has gone awry with Wickhaser. 
He has never been a faithless child, nor has he ever been one to go on such wild adventures. Still, I felt that something had gone amiss when Wickhaser consulted me three days ago. He asked me what the authority in his life should be, but told me nothing of why he had visited me. I told him, and perhaps falsely so, that he should trust his instincts. I believed him to be a faithful child, but perhaps I empowered him too broadly. Are you suggesting that you, he did this out of greed? I might. I might not. It matters not. I made the mistake once. I will not make it again. Spares, listen well. Trust, solid word. I told Wickasa to trust his instincts, and so he did. His instincts were not the way he was raised, and I blame myself for the Aquos Gem's disappearance. You are told by Chief Lickgan, and rightly so, to retrieve the Aquos Gem from Wickasa by any means necessary. Those are your orders. Do as you must, but be sure to retrieve that gem no matter what. You have been taught well, so I expect that you will not let your people down. Yes, sir. All right. Well, our first task is to head to the mound to the east in order to pray and get guidance from the spirits. That's... I like the design of that. That is... That is obviously a very large town. I mean, it doesn't look as large here, but... No, I... What do you mean? What ledge? Anyway, I like the way this is designed up here. There's a small village of the Emerald Tribe here. Like your village on the mountain, this village is protected by brave spares. The people here are friendly, but unfortunately have no ways to help you in your quest. Okay, then. Alright, let's make our progress start. Uh, it looks like... Oh, no, that's a tree. Okay. Uh, another one here. Pristine granite stairs lead up to one of Emerald Valley's holiest locales, the Holy Mound. A sense of ominous sacred import pervades your senses. The spirits here are strong and many in number, almost palpably so. It is a right among members of your tribe to pray at the Holy Mound under the moonlight. If you wish for success in your mission, then having the spirits on your side is of the utmost importance. Pray to the Holy Mound. You begin to pray. With the sky darkened and the moon lighting the graves, you lie yourselves prostrate between, before the mound and wish for the blessings of the spirits. You remember back to your teachings from your youth. You were taught three tenets which made the trinity of morality which guided you throughout your days. Honor, tradition, and conviction. Tenets un as unwavering as these should always lead to the same conclusion. Why Wickhaser perceived ambiguity in these tenets is beyond you, but as you pray for guidance, you know what must be done. He has made the wrong choice. His vision of the trinity of morality led him astray, and since evil perverted his vision of the moral trinity, if he decides to resist, then you must cut him down. He was a brother to you, and perhaps he still is. Nevertheless, you owe yourselves to your tribe and its beliefs first, and then and him second. Amen. You get up from your f positions with a newfound sense of purpose. First, though, you must check with the guard post to the southeast. Hopefully Wickhaser has not yet left the valley. There's a woman selling food here. Would you like to purchase some? A woman named Sarah, apparently. But we don't need to buy any. Alright, the guard posts to the southeast. The guard posts are to the southeast. You're going in the wrong direction. You call out to the spares guarding the valley. One of them climbs down and cordially asks you why you were here. After explaining what Wickhaser did at your village, the guards are shocked, but somewhat relieved. The robbery is awful, but we have good news for you. Wickhaser did not leave the valley. You can still retrieve the gem. Where he went, we know not for sure, but still. We saw a caped figure in the distance head down the road approaching us, but then it darted directly south shortly after coming into view. If that was Wickhaser, I would look for him there. Best of luck! The spare returns to his post. Wickhaser has not left the valley, but is instead headed south. You absolutely must chase him down. Thank goodness. Small village here. No reason to speak with them. Okay. You stumble upon a corpse in the hills. A corpse which you will never forget. Wickhaser is dead. He was brought down by a large weapon. He has slice marks all over his body, and not thin ones either. Whoever slew him was clearly a powerful warrior with a powerful weapon at his command. 
Regrettably, you begin searching his body for the Aquas gem. After five minutes of searching, you conclude that it was taken from him when he was slain. You are in goblin territory. Likely, the goblins stole his gem and took it up into the mountains to their ratty, piecemeal village. Wicaser's spear is powerful and was not taken by the goblins. You pick up the spear of your most beloved brother and set out to avenge him. Wicaser was a sinner, but no man is perfect. He was a friend to you, and he did not deserve this. Honor, tradition, and conviction ran strongly in him. Looking over his corpse, you notice that he was cleaved by a powerful weapon, both sharp and ginormous. When looking around the goblin camp, you'll look for a weapon capable of such wounds. He was likely their leader. What kind of pike is this? Unidentified. Well then, let's head back and get it identified. Because we can, and I want to know what it is. Most likely, something that's probably quite useful. Think in here... yes. You identify... Gold, there we go. What is it? Wickaser Spear. 7 to 49. That's way better than the, uh... Than the steel pike here. Which we can sell. Alright. Now back we go. Alright, let's go on. There's a small encampment of goblins here. They see you coming and decide to attack, as mindless barbarians are wont to do. It's quite a few of them, too! Alright, lightning spray. <coughs> Ow! Okay, that hill goblin dervish was surprisingly powerful. Reloading. I did not see that happening at all. So we need to deal with that dervish ASAP. And it does not... It can't really... Okay, this is going... Yes, I know about all that. Shut up. No, we need to... I think slow is actually not a bad option here. Ow, ow. Okay, that dervish needs to die. That on Sheik, I think. Jeez, even then there's a low chance to hit. Okay, that haste on Bonnie isn't a bad choice. In my eyes, anyway. Yeah, definitely was not a bad option. Okay, you focus on that. You get a haste on yourself, Draco. Not a bad idea, I think. Oh, Fox's haste already wore off. Wonderful. Alright, get that haste on Fox. And get a haste on Sheep. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. And... Yeah, do it again. Yeah, it's probably a wise idea. You focus on the dervish. You need to. Oh, this is bad. Okay, you only have one energy potion, which does not please me, and we died. Okay, this is a very tough fight, and I'm not pleased about it. Reloading. Honestly, the most frustrating thing here is that I can't cast the spells I need. I guess that Strength Elixir should hopefully help. Ow. Ow. Alright. 
paste on Fox. We need to get that dervish dead ASAP. <coughs> you can focus on those. Draco, you haste yourself. Now, Draco, haste to Sheik, and haste to Bonnie. <coughs> Son of a bitch! Ugh! Okay, new plan. You drink that strength elixir, and you will also drink this haste potion. We need to get that dervish dead. And both attacks missed. <sighs> okay, wait. You provide healing for Fox. You... Haste for yourself. Of course that happened. Now you give haste to Bonnie and haste to Sheep. Really not pleased with some of this. I mean, this is incredibly dangerous and bad. Well, I killed one of them. Another one killed. And there goes a third. You are in huge trouble. Okay, use that healing elixir you need to. He's surrounded by creatures attacking him. Of course. Alright, another lightning spray. Okay, we are making progress. Drink that. Drink that. Using so much energy here to try and survive. Obviously, that dervish is immune to being hurt. Okay, you need to get up there to that guy. Come on, you finish off those guys so they're no longer a threat. <coughs> Son of a bitch! Okay, we're at the minimum level we need to be in order to complete this, but look at how badly we're getting destroyed! Reloading again. Okay, need to alter my strategy here. The haste potion. And let's go in. Draco, haste yourself. Yeah, I need to alt- <laughs> Terrified, and the healer is the one who's terrified. Freaking wonderful. Just what I wanted. Okay, you know what? Drink the invulnerability potion. That'll keep you alive. Okay. You. Okay, you can actually deal with this shaman. Okay, you focus on keeping them all alive. You can finish off that shaman and a whole bunch of these goblins. Perfect. Now drink that so you can stay alive. Oh, cut that out.
Great, now he's cursed, which is exactly the thing I did not want to have happen. There, there go those. Yeah, you all have such a slow chance to hit. Okay, blessed again. That is perfect. Okay, fire does damage to him. Okay, blessing on Sheik will help out. Can do fire damage, so do so. Alright, I think we have this now. It's taking almost all of our efforts in order to do this. Oh, bloody hell, just finish him off already. There we go. Now, we have a lot of loot here that we can pick up. Crude cudgels, leather armor. I mean, the crude axe is... Okay, the iron axe actually has value. You pick up that steel arrow. Okay. That was not pleasant in the slightest. But at least we managed to get through that. 2 through 12. Well, it's better than the Iron Longsword, so Bonnie, you can hold that Iron Axe. Alright, I gotta end this episode here, because this episode has gone on long enough. Next episode, we'll head further in, and heaven help me if we end up in another situation where we run out of spell energy. I do not want to deal with another one of these goddamn dervishes. That was ridiculously powerful. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.